There are many ways in which forces can be manipulated. It is often easier to work with large, complicated system of forces by reducing it to an ever-decreasing number of smaller problems. This is called the resolution of forces or force systems. This is one way to simplify what may otherwise seem to be an impossible system of forces acting on a body. Force systems can be different. They may be concurrent, parallel, non-concurrent, or non-parallel. In this video, we will discuss the equilibrium of parallel forces. Parallel force system consists of two or more forces whose lines of action are all parallel. This is commonly the situation when simple beams are analyzed under gravity loops. These can be solved graphically but are combined most easily using algebraic methods. shows the moment or the magnitude of the moment where m is equal to the product of the force and the distance perpendicular from the moment center to the line of action of the force. So here is the process of getting the resultant of parallel forces. First, add all the forces to get the resultant. If the force is pointing downward, then it is negative. If the force is pointing upward, it is positive. And the next thing that you will do is to get the summation of moment, which is equal to force times distance. And the next step is to use this formula, which is Rd is equal to summation of moment. And then you'll be able to get the resultant of parallel force. the 
magnitude of the committed resultant force. Now, take note that moment of A is equal to force times distance. So, substituting all the values that we have computed, we have MA is equal to 660 is equal to the force, which is 110 times the distance. To get the distance, we have to divide both sides by 110. Getting, getting, the, getting the value of the distance, which is equal to 60. Now, we already have the magnitude and the distance. Therefore, the resultant force is 110 pounds 6 feet away from point A.